Hey and welcome to the Leftovers channel today. We are checking out another Mighty Max playset. It is Mighty Max Liquidates the Ice Alien. Uh, as you can see, we've got the head of an ice alien right here. This is one of my absolute favorite play sets. When I was a kid growing up, it's an incredible looking head. We have like this frozen web design on the front, exposing the inside of the Mighty Max play set. We've got these silver teeth and these little beady eyes. The textures here are amazing. A lot of the play sets have these really cool textures. Um, there's one reason I really enjoy setting up the lights like I do for these episodes, just so I can show you as much detail as possible within the line work and what they were doing with the molding and stuff here on the Mighty Max play sets. We have a peek at one of the monsters coming out as one of the tongues. I always thought that was a bit corny, but again, it's a Mighty Max play set. There's gonna be a few corny things contained within. Again, I really enjoy being able to see elements of the play set coming through within the gaps here in the head. Inside, we will find a laboratory. So for the comic for this one, Mighty Max gets teleported inside this frozen laboratory sort of place where he gets immediately trapped by a robot alien called the Cryogenoid. The Cryogenoid um, has been creating these ice monsters, these Isosauruses, Isosaurus, and he wants to use Mighty Max's brain to complete his creation and bring his Isauruses, Isaurus, Isauri, bring his monsters to life using Mighty Max's brain. Luckily for Mighty Max, he escapes the cryogenoid. He trips on ice in the comic book, which, um, you know, poor choice. He lives in the ice. He should have done a better job watching where he walks or get used to his environment a bit more, I guess. Trips on the ice, Mighty Max escapes. He ends up freezing the Isaurus. Um, and then throws an icicle at the machinery to make it explode so he can escape. It's a classic Mighty Max comic book, but I really love the inside of this playset in particular, and I know as a kid, I had lots of adventures looking at it, playing with it, and again, there's so much stuff happening. We've got this ice laboratory, there's icicles, there's a lot of really good ice-shaped textures, but we also have the hoses and the ventilation, and there's so much machinery here embedded in the ice as well. We also get the forming of one of the ice monsters here, and then two more ice monsters on rotating ball heads at the back here. Mighty Max Liquidates the Ice Alien also had its very own TV episode called Out in the Cold. Basically, Mighty Max has to travel out into the frozen tundra to this weather station. There's been some really weird stuff happening where he finds some of the people there are acting really strange. Eventually, he finds the Ice Aliens laboratory and works out that these Ice Aliens have been basically cloning themselves as people and taking over the uh, weather station. I guess as a start to world domination. So um, it's basically like the 80s horror movie, the thing where the the aliens there in the in the Arctic are turning themselves into people and they can't trust each other and there's a lot of tension and Virgil goes missing. It's um it's actually a pretty decent episode, well worth checking out, and it follows the theme of this playset really, really well. It's a really complete Play set. I really like the theme they went with and I feel like they did a really good job. You know, the story is corny as all the Mighty Max stories are, but the theme here is really strong enough to carry through the playset and create a really cool little environment for you to have your adventures in. So packing it all up, I think my biggest gripe with this place has to be the tongue thing on the outside, especially because you can lose your alien head on the outside of the playset. One thing I liked about the Mighty Max playsets, especially as a kid, is that you could just um, package them all up and they were safe to travel with you, to keep with you, to throw in your backpack, to leave in your toy box, and you're not going to like start losing pieces because there are a lot of small pieces here. Um, this set doesn't help you do that. This set's got a piece you can lose right there on the outside and looking on eBay you'll find a lot of sets without the Isosaurus heads. I was lucky to find this one. So, again, a really awesome set. A few small flaws, but overall, if you're a big fan of the Mighty Max series, if you love the themes that they started creating within these play sets, then this is definitely one to check out. 